Good morning again. It's Bob bringing you another Daily Devo. And we're continuing on the theme of God restoring things, God restoring us, God restoring our relationships, God restoring our world through us. And that forgiveness is one of the giant agencies that God uses to get this business done. And we talked, I read to you Matthew 18 on Friday, I asked you to think about about this weekend, um, who is it that you need to forgive and to do, start that forgiving business? Now, I want to, you know, and, and just so that you know, just so that you've got a scripture to back this up, the most concise one in the entire entirety of the New Testament, I believe, is uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse uh, 13. It says, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Or personalizing this with God, um, Lord, I forgive as you forgave me. I forgive as you forgave me. Now, I want to address the elephant in the room in this, and this has been encroaching in my world, so I'm assuming that it would it, it with yours as well. The political world and the church world have intermingled in a way that is, I, in my opinion, fairly toxic of late. And I find that a lot of Christians are acting unchristianly, that our attitudes are are angry, they're critical, they're judgmental, they're hateful um, in lots of ways. And again, I'm I'm just saying what I'm seeing. And unfortunately, I'm even seeing some of this stuff in, you know, creeping into my own world. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pointing the finger at anyone. I'm saying that I think the tone of the rhetoric is so aggressive and so, um, you know, and, and, and so battling in, in this that I think that we start to adopt the kind of world's way of associating and a world's way of interacting with this world. Now, I realize that some of you might not like hearing this, but I'm having to represent what the scripture actually says. And the people in the scriptures that the scriptures are written to, especially the New Testament, these are people that are not getting their way. These are people that are not getting their way all the time. And so, the, and and the, the scriptures uh, that, you know, Paul, Peter, John, uh, the gospel writers, they're, they're writing to let us know how to negotiate our world when things aren't going the way that we, that we want it to go. And forgiveness and peacemaking and reconciling is part of our game. It is not the part of the devil's game. It's not the part of this world's game, but our game is reconciliation and forgiveness. And so God is, is calling us in on this and he's calling us in. And so I'm, you know, I'd say that if you're, if you tend to, to vote or you vote a Democrat, then maybe you need to forgive Republicans. And if you, uh, if you, if you tend to vote uh, and voted Republican, then maybe you need to forgive the Democrats. Really? That I think that I, I found that in many people, myself included, that there can be this bitterness and this root of bitterness inside of us toward another political party and everyone who's associated with that. And the Lord is just, it grieves the Lord's heart in this. And I believe that the Lord wants me to speak into this because he's called us to be agents of the restoration, not agents of the breakdown, agents of the restoration. And so as we are doing that, we need to forgive from the heart. We need to forgive the people that aren't like us, that the people that don't agree with us, the people that are different from us and that, uh, that, we, that for whom they're on the other side of the us and them compendium for us, that, that God wants us to forgive and he wants us to be bridge builders instead of bridge destroyers. You know this, you know this. And so I want to ask you today to be thinking about this and to process this with God. Do I have bitterness toward people that I disagree with? And, or, or do I just simply disagree and, and that's okay? You know, because we're going to actually be going into Thanksgiving and into the holidays here. And, and perhaps you might be actually sharing a meal with some people that politically are very different than you. And when you do, how's that going to go? Well, if your heart is polluted, if your heart is... Uh, polluted with unforgiveness, with bitterness, with resentment, with judgment, with criticism. If your heart's polluted, those things are going to make those meals fairly creepy. Uh, and and the Lord doesn't want that. The Lord wants us to be able not just to get along, but to love well. And part of loving well means forgiving from the heart. And so I want to ask you to address this straight up within yourself, not to point the finger to everyone else, but to address this in yourself. And ask yourself, am I carrying judgment and criticism? Am I critical toward anyone and why? And if I am critical toward them, do I need to work through forgiveness? Do I need to actually forgive 
from the heart. I believe that as you and I process these things, that the Lord will show us, the Holy Spirit is always wanting to show us those things that bind us up so that he can bring the freedom of the kingdom of God, the freedom of the kingdom of the heavens into your and my life. And that's going to come primarily by us forgiving from the heart. Thanks so much for tuning with me in with me today. I'm hoping that you're having a blessed Monday and that as you forgive, your Monday will even be more blessed. I love you. I'm with you in this. God bless you.